it is freezing cold outside. I got my kerosene heater down there on the floor. Now we're in the shed. I'm going to show you why in a second. Let me get you off here and I'll show you why. So I've been needing to, there we are. I've been needing to reconfigure the shed because it's just not user friendly. I had way too much bench space. Some people say you can't have too much bench space, but I had too much bench space. It was just, so I cut half this bench out right here, move the toolbox over to there. And I'm going to have to redo the lighting at some point, but my idea is, is to shorten the bench space. So I still got room for my lathe and to build things, but to build stations. So for example, over here on the wall, I put a platform there and put a grinder. Next to it, I could put, next to it, I could put the drill press. Next to it, I could put the small sander I have for sharpening my lathe tools. That's my idea. And it frees up some floor space. Yeah, it just gets rid of the clutter. So, so what I'm going to finish now is I got to put the top on here. I got I know that is six feet long, so I got to cut the plywood to go on the top there. Build another brace and should be good to go. All right, we got some really tight quarters in here. I got crap all over the place here, but I got the bench in. Okay, so now I can put my lathe back up on the bench, a couple other tools back on the bench. On the wall, we're going to paint that and put some shelves up. Try to get organized. There's nothing worse than, I mean, I know where everything is, but there's nothing worse than, nothing worse than a messy shop. That's a six foot bench. We're going to paint the walls, put some shelves up. I got to paint my tools up on the wall. Try and get organized. I mean, I'm not the most organized guy in the world, but I need to be. And I've, phew, look at the mess I got on the floor here. Look at this. I got stuff everywhere. Now I can at least put my lathe back up here, a couple other tools back up here, get them off the floor, kind of clean things up just a little bit so that I can do some actual work in here without fighting and trying to find this, that, and the other thing. I was going to say you all know what I'm talking about, guys, but I've seen some pretty nice shops on YouTube and time for me to pick up the pace a little bit. All right, well, that's what I got so far. So I got my lathe up there. Uh, my drill press is in the corner. I'm glad it's small because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Obviously, I'm not going to leave my grinder, my small sander up there. Like I said, I want to build stations to put that on, whether it's on this wall over here, this wall over here. But this wall has got to be tools because I got a lot of tools. I get a lot of grief for having a lot of tools. But there's a reason. Now, let me just show you my heat source here for a second and spin you around. That's a kerosene heater. I come out in the mornings, I turn it on, set it on low, and by the time I come out here with my coffee, it's ready to go. But, oh, hang on. This one's empty, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. That's a jug of kerosene. So this is 9.46 liters. $35. That's expensive. Because I was paying $18 for this jug, it's now $35. Almost double the price. What's that tell y'all? All right, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit more here. I gotta run in town, pick some things up. I'll see you all in a minute. And the other thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put two by fours across there and across there, and put plywood on there so I can have a secondary shelf. Because basically, this is just wasted space. All right. Well, I didn't want to bore you with all the cutting the wood, screwing the wood together, and making a bench, but. Here we are. Obviously, I gotta get another piece of wood for down there, a piece of plywood to cover that whole section. That one over there, I'm gonna leave open. Bench is six feet long. Toolbox, put up a couple of shelves over there. And the idea is to get pretty much everything off the floor so I can get rid of this rack right here and again, put in those workstations with the sander and the grinder. Coming along, anyway. Well, this video's kinda all over the place. The shop build, now this has been going on for a little while. I've just been picking at it, but we're getting close to Christmas. I got to get it done. I want to start making some videos out of here, which means it needs to get done. Kind of a mini man cave. How's that? Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Just thought I'd bring you along and hope you enjoyed it. And again, I'll see you all in the next one. Later. Taking up clutter and junk. Joe? <laughs> Anyways, here's what I did.